Hello, future nurses. Have you ever wondered why nurses and doctors easily get medicine or equipment to save someone's life? And have you also wondered what a lab book is and its purpose in the hospital? Don't worry, we, your student nurse, are going to tackle everything you need to know, especially what an e card is, uses of an e card, who needs an e card, the contents and organization of an e card, what is a log book, and our responsibilities as a student nurse. So now, let's dive right into the video. E card, or also known as emergency card or crash card, is a set of trays or drawers or shelves on wheels used in hospitals for transportation and dispensing of emergency medication or equipment at site of medical or surgical emergency for life support protocols, which is the ACLS or ALS, the advanced cardiac life support or advanced life support to potentially save someone's life. The card carries instruments for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and other medical supplies while also functioning as a support letter for the baby. What is a lab book in the emergency card? A lab book is a list of emergency medication to record and keep track the used drugs and other emergency equipment. What does a lab book in the emergency card contain and what it look like? So the lab book should be organized and clean. In clinical setting, we have here the front page. The front page contains green colored lab book with a cover page labeled with emergency card. And then label half of the book with e-card 1 and e-card 2. And then the inside of the lab book. The inside of the lab book contains name of drugs with the up-to-date record which include month, dates, morning, afternoon, and night shift and then the number of available drugs. Where can we find the lab book? The lab book is placed at the nurse's station beside the medication preparation. How is the lab book used? It is used for documenting the medication, noting how much are the available medication and equipment, then record it to the lab book with the update dates, months including morning, afternoon, and night shift. Note the expiration date of the medication. Make sure to look the expiration date so that you can note and nurses are aware about the medications. Inform the church nurse about the discarded expired drugs. When is the best time to use the lab book? Time management is very important nursing skills you must possess, especially if you have many patients to handle. If you have ample time in the morning, you can do it for at least one hour. Same goes well at the afternoon and night shift. Why is lab book important? It is important to ensure all required information are documented and recorded, to monitor the availability of less medications, and to keep the information in one place. The contents and organization of a crash cart vary from hospital to hospital, country to country, and specialty to specialty, but typically contain the tools and drugs needed to treat a person in or near cardiac arrest or another life-threatening condition. The top of the crash cart almost always has a heart monitor and a heart defibrillator. There may also be a blood glucose meter and an airway box with intubating supplies, should a patient need an advanced airway. Other items often found on top of, along the sides of, or on the back of the crash cart may be defibrillator pads, a full oxygen tank, a CPR board, a removable suction unit, a stethoscope, and a sharp spin, IV fluid bags, hang from the back of the cart. What is a defibrillator? A type of defibrillator that can be seen in the e-cart is the manual defibrillator. It is an advanced life support medical device that monitors the heart rhythm and allows the user to manually set the energy delivery and deliver an energy shock in joules. Parts of manual defibrillator First is the monitor. The monitor will show you the current ECG waveform and heart rate of the patient. Also, it will show you the energy selection 
energy delivered, impedance value, and battery status. Then, the external puddles. There will be a single pair of external puddles. In the puddle, you may have the function of charging and discharging the energy. In other words, you can use the external puddles for delivering a shock to the patient. You may be able to use the puddles for both adult and pediatric patients. ECG The ECG leads will measure the rhythm of the heart. Looking at this waveform, the doctors decide whether defibrillation is needed or not. Printer There is also a built-in thermal printer. There can also be seen the features of a manual defibrillator. There is the energy select, so this is for the selection of the energy for delivering to the patient. There is also a charge function. And lastly is the shock. The shock function allows you to deliver the energy to the patient. How to use a manual defibrillator? First, turn on the machine. Then, apply the electro gel on the chest of the patient. Then, with the help of the puddles, wrap the gel around the chest of the patient. Select the energy level that you want to deliver to the patient. Then, place the puddles on the chest. Place the sternum puddle on the patient's chest in the area to the patient's right clavicle and lateral to the upper sternum. Also, place the apex handle in the anterior axillary slide in the area and lateral to the patient's left nipple. Then press the charge button. Once the charging has been completed, press the shock button to deliver the shock to the patient. Observe the ECG signal after delivering the shock. Once the operation of the machine is over, turn it off. Then clean the machine and store it in a safe place. Hello student nurses! Here are some of the medications that mostly use in e -card. We'll start with magnesium sulfate. This medication is a mineral supplement. It is used to prevent and treat low amounts of magnesium in the blood. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is a sympathomimetic used in the control of blood pressure during various hypotensive states and as an adjunct treatment during cardiac arrest. Epinephrine is the primary drug administered during cardiopulmonary resuscitation to reverse cardiac arrest. Hydrolyzine Hydrolyzine is used to treat high blood pressure. Hydrolyzine is in a class of medications called vasodilators. It works by relaxing the blood vessels so that blood can flow more easily through the body. Captopril Captopril is used to treat high blood pressure. Lowering high blood pressure helps prevent strokes, heart attacks, and kidney problems. Citicoline is given to help memory loss due to aging, improve vision in people with glaucoma, and help with recovery in stroke patients. Diphenhydramine Diphenhydramine is an antihistamine. It is used to treat the symptoms of allergic reaction and motion sickness. Tranexamic acid is an antifibrinolytic agent. It works by blocking the breakdown of blood clots, which prevents bleeding. Calcium gluconate. It is an antidote for magnesium sulfate toxicity. Digoxin, under the brand name Lenoxin, a cardiovascular agent, a cardiac glycoside, and antiarrhythmic. It is used to treat heart failure by increasing left ventricular ejection fraction and arrhythmias. Furosemide. It is a diuretic. It is used to help treat fluid retention such as edema and swelling that is caused by congestive heart failure, liver disease, kidney disease, or other medical conditions. Sodium bicarbonate and electrolyte. It is used to relieve heartburn or acid indigestion by neutralizing excess stomach acid. It is said to belong to the group of medicine called antacid. 
atropine sulfate, an anticholinergic agent. It is used to treat the symptoms of low heart rate, reduced salivation, and bronchial secretions. During anesthesia and surgery, atropine is used to help keep the heartbeat normal. Dopamine, an adrenergic agent, is a catecholamine neurotransmitter used to treat hemodynamic imbalances, poor perfusion of vital signs, low cardiac output, and hypotension. Hydrocortisone, a corticosteroid, it is commonly used to treat inflammation of the skin, joint, lungs, and other organs. Potassium chloride, a mineral supplement used to treat or prevent low amounts of potassium in the blood. Salbutamol hyphen inhalation liquid is a bronchodilator used for the prevention and treatment of asthma attacks and other breathing problems or chest illnesses caused by bronchial asthma, bronchitis, and emphysema. Fluvimucil acetylcysteine is a mucolytic agent that works by thinning and loosening phlegm in lungs, wind pipe, and nose that helps to cough out easily. Antacitron is a serotonin 5-HT3 receptor antagonist that works by blocking the action of serotonin to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by cancer chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. Famotidine is a H2 blocker that works by decreasing the amount of acid made in the stomach. Naloxone is an opioid antagonist designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. Isosorbide dinitrate, a nitrates medication used to prevent angina caused by coronary artery disease. Dexamethasone is a corticosteroid medication that works on the immune system to help relieve swelling, redness, itching, and allergic reactions. Nicardipane hydrochloride is a calcium channel blockers medication used alone or together with other medicines to treat severe chest pain or high blood pressure. Ventolinebule salbutamol is a bronchodilator. It works by relaxing the muscles of the airways into the lungs, relieving symptoms of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Lidocaine uricane is an anesthetic. It causes loss of feeling in the skin and the surrounding tissues and is used to prevent and to treat pain from some procedures. Clopidogrel blood drill, a platelet inhibitor that reduces the chance that a harmful blood clot will form by preventing platelets from clumping together in the blood. Clonidin catapras is an antihypertensive drug that can be used alone or in combination with other medications to treat high blood pressure. Hyacin buscopan is an antispasmodic drug that relieves painful stomach cramps, including those linked with irritable bowel syndrome. Amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker medication used to treat high blood pressure and coronary artery disease. Ivabradin is a hyper polarization activated cyclic nucleotide gate channel blockers that slows the heart rate so the heart can pump more blood through the body each time it beats treating chronic heart failure methyl ergometrin methergin is a medication used after childbirth to help stop bleeding from the uterus Ketamine, Ketamax, belongs to the class of general anesthetics and is a medication primarily used for induction and maintenance of anesthesia. Oxygen sensor is used to measure the partial pressure of oxygen which indicates the amount of oxygen dissolved in the blood. 0.9% sodium chloride is used to treat the symptoms of hypoglycemia. Sterile water for injection is used to deliver medications or drugs to patients intravenously. 
Lubricating jelly is used to aid insertion during medical examination. D5 water. It is used to treat low blood sugar or hypoglycemia, insulin shock, and dehydration or fluid loss. Manitol is a diuretic used to reduce pressure and swelling around the brain and in the eyes. D5 NSS. It is used for replacement or maintenance of fluid and electrolytes. D5LR is used for fluid and electrolytes. Nasal oxygen cannula is a medical device to provide supplemental oxygen therapy to people who have lower oxygen levels. Urine drainage pack. It is used to collect urine. Laryngoscope. Laryngoscope is a device designed to assist in the visualization of the trachea during intubation. Endotracheal tube. It serves to provide oxygen and inhaled gases to the lungs and protect the lungs from contamination such as gastric contents or blood. Povidone iodine swab stick. It is used as an antiseptic to prep the skin prior to minor invasive procedures. An infusion pump is a type of pump used to distribute fluids in a medical setting. These devices are typically used to manage nutrients and medications. Infusion pumps can supply large or little amounts of fluids, and they can be used to deliver nutrition or pharmaceuticals like insulin or other hormones, antibiotics, chemotherapeutic drugs, and pain relievers. Some infusion pumps are intended for usage at the patient's bedside only, for example. Ambulatory infusion pumps are meant to be portable or wearing. The rate of flow is controlled by an infusion pump which takes fluid from a typical bag of intravenous fluid. It delivers precise and ongoing therapy. An infusion pump may give fluids at either a very slow or very fast rate, 
since it can use any size of bag of intravenous fluid. There are two types of infusion pumps when it comes to using. Specialty pumps and regular pumps are examples of these. Specialty infusion pumps are created to meet the demands of certain medical situations. They are frequently utilized in the delivery of home care or the treatment of certain illnesses, such as diabetes. The following are three main classifications. Implantable pumps, enteral pumps, and insulin infusion pumps. Traditional infusion pumps can be used in medical settings such as mobile, home, and long-term care. These pumps can be used to give pain medication, antibiotics, chemotherapeutic medication, and hydration fluids in both fixed and mobile settings. For example, syringe infusion pumps, disposable pumps, large volume pumps, and elastomeric pumps. Classified by their mobility, infusion pumps are divided into two, ambulatory infusion pumps and stationary infusion pumps. Parts of infusion pumps include power supply system. You should always check the voltage compatibility when using a rechargeable battery or plugged into an external source. Otherwise, connect to an appropriate transformer. To minimize overloads, you can alternatively connect to a voltage stabilizer. A door lock is a safety anti-opening door that is used to prevent the substance or medication from being removed from the apparatus while it is infusing. Polos allows you to plan the delivery of a certain amount of medication or substance at a specific time. Infusion volume is preset. It displays the volume to infuse. Drop or flow rate displays the rate at which the drug is infused. Alarms determine if there is a problem with the machine. The most common infusion pumps include both visible and audible alarms that allow them to identify any problem during operation. When the drip chamber detects an increase or decrease in the plant flow, the drip alarm is activated. The sensor detects the presence of air inside the infusion tube and sounds an alarm. When equipment is unplugged from the electrical network and begins to function in batteries, an alert is also triggered. The system detects an obstacle between the pump and the patient and allocates by occlusion. How does infusion pumps work? The user can specify the fluid delivery rate in milliliters per hour, as well as the fluid volume to be given in milliliters. To protect the patient, the pump will not provide fluid above a specified delivery pressure. This is accomplished by monitoring the pressure in the providing set and ensuring that it does not reach a certain level. If the pressure is surpassed, the pump will stop and an alarm will ring to notify the user. An occlusion alarm flow is a name for this type of alarm. The pump's function is continuously monitored and an alarm sound will avert any potential harm to the patient, such as failure to distribute fluid in the usual manner. The infusion pump has a battery backup so it can keep working even if the power goes out. To use an infusion pump, one must perform a thorough examination of the patient and keep track of their vital signs. The drug or IV fluid to be infused will be drawn up by hospital professionals who will also check that the infusion pump is working properly. The infusion tubing is appropriately linked to the patient's intravenous line. It's necessary to monitor the pace of infusion pump delivery. In today's state, infusion pumps are used in hospitals and other medical institutions around the world. Infusion pumps have made a huge difference in patient care, but they are not without their flaws. Thus, to conclude, the improvements in the design, structure, and working in near future will definitely lead to more usage of the infusion pump. Me wind and rain.